The Institute for Global Health and Development uh, is a centre for teaching and research that focuses on addressing challenges in low and middle income countries. Based at Queen Margaret University, IGHD uses its research expertise to have a global impact on policy and practice. We work in a wide variety of settings in places such as, as China, Uganda, Lebanon and Latvia, but all of the time the focus is our research having uh, an impact uh, on policies and systems at the local level, at the national level and internationally. An important character of our work is partnership and the overall goal is pooling resources to strengthen capabilities with a view that that will really impact quality of life. The conflict and unrest we see in some parts of the world today has global consequences. These challenges create barriers for people to access health services. It also creates additional burdens that affect their own mental health and well-being and disrupts their livelihoods, encouraging global migration and movement to other countries, which is a phenomenon that we're all wrestling with. One of our current projects is run in collaboration with UNRWA, a UN agency which works with Palestine refugees across the Middle East. Our work there operates across three settings, Syria, Jordan and Lebanon. What we aim to do is build resilience in the UNRWA healthcare system, more specifically try to enable UNRWA healthcare clinics to cope with the influx of displaced refugees from Syria into the neighbouring settings. Our research will inform both UNRWA policymakers as well as country-level policymakers and non-governmental organizations operating in the midst of extreme conditions. We want to help build effective and efficient healthcare systems that can provide medicines, doctors and nurses to those patients that really need it the most. As well as working in low and middle income countries, IGHD's research also serves to improve the lives of people in Scotland and the UK and other parts of the world where refugees are resettling. As chair of the New Scot Strategy, I've helped to develop effective plans for building strong and diverse communities in Scotland. New Scots has really helped to uh, ensure an, an effective and a speedy response to receiving and integrating Syrians across the country. This is shaping the work of humanitarian agencies and also refugee integration programmes. So, for example, right now across Scotland there are groups of people, um, both refugees and local people, who are meeting together, um, sharing lives and languages. We know that uh, there is uh, there is events for Kelly Dance. So we want to be uh, a part of this event and to learn how this Scottish dance. Uh, it's a good uh, idea to be a part of your new community. We want to show the uh, Scottish people also our culture. So when we celebrate, we try to invite many, many Scottish family to uh, join us and uh, share our uh, celebration. Our research at IGHD has global reach and that doesn't just mean across all continents, it also means that we're engaged with health workers, we're engaged with governments, we're engaged with other academics and researchers and we also remain in contact with and giving voice to some of the most marginalised groups of society. Our work at IGHD is focused on completing really rigorous research but it's important for us that that research addresses real-world problems and seeks real-world solutions. <laughs>